So I already took this thing and uh, degreased it with Purple Power and I went over it with the Red Scotch Bride at the same time. So it's ready for paint to stick to it. It's already scuffed. But I'm gonna go ahead with the DA and some 400 to hit all the flat areas that I can get to just to make it look a little bit better. Going to get everything wiped down with wax and grease remover cleaned up. Then it's time for some epoxy sealer on everything. We we'll do single stage blue, single stage black. This lip, this edge of the hood, all the way around, really needs to be painted with the outsides. I'd rather go ahead and paint it, and then I'll just scuff it down and paint it. I'll back tape this and paint the edge all the way around with the outside. Today's goal is to get some paint on here, so we gotta prep everything, get it ready. The last sanding that we did was in 180, and we primed over that. So now we wanna cut that down into something that we can paint over. Some of this primer is VP2050, some of it's urethane, but we're gonna prep it all with 220. We'll use the soft block in some rounded areas. On the flat surfaces, we'll use the 220 on the stick, so it's nice and straight. Then we'll go back and we'll sand it with 400 on a DA and a soft pad and that'll take out our block marks. Anytime you sand in straight lines, once you do that, you have straight line scratches or block marks. And in these grits, like 220 or 320, it's gonna show in the final product in the clear coat if you don't get rid of that. No rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind can't get.
get no rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail I've been running so long other things that I went over before but I want to throw it back out there is uh, is you got to keep yourself comfortable hopefully you have some adjustable stools to go up and down maybe uh, a creeper to set on or some wooden blocks anything because you want to keep your work right in front of you you got to find the position that's comfortable for you to be blocking in you'll see me get up and change I'm in a lot of different positions because I'm trying to find what's comfortable you think about how many laps around this thing we've we've taken blocking i mean it's a lot so you got to keep everything right there in your comfort zone where you can get it taken care of without it just totally wearing you out i don't know if there is such a place anyway food for thought Found the dent. This door has been in primer for maybe two years now, at least a year. Anyway, I found the dent, so I'm gonna have to prime this. I'm gonna get some fast primer on it and bake it. All right, we got this thing reprimed where that bad spot was, that little low area was. Let's get it out there and finish prepping it. I'm gonna run 600 over everything that's already painted and then we'll run 400 over everything that's primed because it's gonna get sealer. Let's get busy. Here's what I'm talking about as far as rounding those edges at the end. Everything's prepped up. I tried to stay off of this body line as much as I could. I tried to sand to it. I don't know if you saw, but when I got close to the body line, I would, I would take the interface pad off so that I had more control when I get close to the body line on each side. You don't want to run over that body line with the uh, interface pad. It may round it out too much. I'll go back with some 400. I've kept it as sharp as I can the whole time. And now I want to just round the edge just a little bit just to clean it up and make it nice and smooth all the way around. Here's how this Easy Edger works. Folds the tape over. So when you pull it off, it folds that edge over. It also crimps it just a little bit so that it'll raise it up. Let me show you where it goes. So I'll run that, this edge tape all the way around, right next to the edge. What that does is creates a very, very small gap. And when you spray it, it gives it a soft edge. Just about can't tell that it was painted. Keeps it nice and neat. Usually turns out really well. <clears throat> so when you tape up the inside, the edge of the metal is rounded. Paint doesn't go around 
corners. So when you spray from the outside, it's not gonna go to the back side of this. So you wanna go just below where it stops rounding over. Put your tape right there. And it's not gonna leave a line because the paint when sprayed from the other side is gonna fade off of that edge. So you'll never get enough on that line to show. When you tape to the back side of something that's called back taping, we'll back tape all the way around this window. This is holding really good where the paper is pressed up against the sticky side of the tape. Now, if for some reason it wasn't sticking very well on the back side, you can take a piece of tape and put it on this side, but just barely catch the edge of this pinch weld. And that'll sandwich it in there and really hold it tight. So when you do that, it's got it from both sides, so it's gonna hold nice and tight. Sun sets on another day. We still got plenty to do. Let's get it done. After you run the fine line, you slice between the panels and you push the fine line into the gap. You push it in as far as it'll go. Sometimes it's too short, so you extend it with the yellow tape like I've done. 
and then you want to fill that gap below with tape. You want to make sure the overspray of the blue that goes into the jam above does not come out onto the white below. So you'll cover that with a piece of tape to keep that from happening. Once we get our paper on there, we'll tape up the ends of it and the bottom to make sure that nothing creeps around it, no overspray. We'll check all our edges to make sure that there's no gaps, everything's secure. Then we're ready for the blue. We'll mix them up and get ready to spray it. You just wanna make sure that you've got that thing taped up good so there's no blow by. If you untape it and the white has blue on it, you're backing up. One thing I really like about the shop line base coat is how clean that line is. Got a little pencil mark there I gotta get rid of. But the shop line makes a really good product for graphics because it makes such a clean line. We're gonna give the old Black Widow a chance. See how she does. Let's go get this thing cleared. It's 10.51. Time to get this thing done and go home.
shore. Let's go see what we got. Looks pretty good. little waves to it but it'll be fine found that dent when I was blocking but the mirror is going to take care of it Done clear and it's 11:45. It's time to clean everything up. Still got to bake it, get it out of the booth, clean up a little bit. Long day. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Mm -hmm.